Good morning everybody. Um I just thought I'd uh, do do a little little vlog today on my day off really. Um I'm due to self isolate um from tomorrow for three days as I've got um a hospital hospital appointment in Liverpool on the on Tuesday. So I'm free today. So I come shopping, so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. Um if I can just turn the camera now, I'll just flip it round. Oh, no, can't do that. Anyway, within, I'm sat in uh, Aldi's car park now. I've just been into Aldi's, I've done my shopping. Um, and now I'm going to go up to Home Bargains. Um, and I'm actually in Llangevny, which is the middle of the island, well, more or less. Um, so I just need to go to Home Bargains get a few bits um, and then I'm going to go back home um, but I'm just going to take you somewhere for a little five five minute walk just so you can just see um, a nice part of Langevny really so I'll shall see you in in a bit okay bye hi guys as you can see I'm now arrived at home bargains so I'm just going to go make sure I've got my mask on Pick up a trolley and in I go. So mask on. So just walking to home bargains now. Uh, go and pick up a trolley. I've got my trolley going. Um not a bad morning this morning. A bit breezy. But no, because of that it's quite fresh. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay. As you can see I'm in home bargains. Um, so I'm just gonna get a few bits now and then uh, I'll be taking on a a little walk. So catch you in a bit. Bye. As you can see, I'm waiting in the queue for home bargains. Quite busy. So we'll see you in a bit. Well guys, that was a bit of a silly thing to do by me, wasn't I? I parked my car here. Home bargains is here. There's the car park. And considering I only wanted um, a couple of packs of beans and some shampoo and conditioner and some cooking oil. That's what I ended up getting. Nearly 50 pounds worth of stuff, again. Anyway, so now I've got to take the trolley back, up and over curves, or curves I should say. That'll teach me to try and uh, sneakily park so we can get a quick getaway when it's gonna take me twice longer. So this is what I'm telling you about. So there's my trolley. There's the curb. Watch this. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh. Watch the car. Watch the car. Lift it down. There we go. If I didn't have a, a trolley point in there, is it a trolley point? I don't know. I can't remember. A trolley point in there for the pound. I'd just leave it loose and let someone else pick it up. But here we go. Put the trolley back in. Let's see what it is. Oh, here's a trolley coin. Okay, right, done and dusted. Right, I'm just going to walk back now. Back to the car. So I just walked around home wagons here in Langevney. Right. Right, there's my car. Nice uh, pale blue Vauxhall Tigra convertible with my uh, 50th birthday number plate. DA06 COP. The meaning for that is Diane, Andy, 06 is the year we were married, and COP, well, it's where I stand every Saturday afternoon, literally. But I wish, um, well, hopefully, after lockdown, after restrictions are lifted, I can go back to standing on my cop on a Saturday afternoon. Right. Right, so I'm going to get in the car now. I'm just going to take you again on my travels and we'll go for a brief walk. So I'll see you at five. Bye. Heading down now to Slangovny. 
uh, take you through Llangevny, which is the main town centre, and uh, just take you on the little five minute walk. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Right, guys. Right, we're back. We're in, uh, just pulled up in the car park um, outside Llangevny Church, Llangevny Parish Church. Uh, I'm not sure, actually sure what the, the name of it is, but I'm just going to take you for the walk to the main gate now. Um, and if, there's a sign that says the name. Okay, there we go. Some nice gates there. Yeah, uh, looks like it was built in 1890 AD. Okay, right, it is Eglis Eplis, St. Kinga Parish Church. Um, so that's the name of it. Eglis Eplis, Pluis, I think that's how I'm pronouncing it. Okay, lovely church with the gates. Obviously some social distancing signs that can just take you in. Lovely, lovely for the wedding. All that nice driveway, pathway, all the way up to the church. And you can see the grounds are well maintained. Okay, I'm just going to bring you out now. Right, uh, that's the old church hall. It's still in use today. Uh, they have various uh, activities going on in there. Um, I know one of the activities is for adults with learning disabilities. They have a little club on a Saturday. You know, about the moment because of lockdown, it's it's um, everything suspended. But I, I believe that used to be the old school as well. Okay, right. I'm going to take you on for a walk. Apologies if the if there's a bit of wind in the footage, there's a bit of a breeze, but we'll see how we get on. Okay, so now we're going to go down to uh, Clangevny um, Woodland area. And as you can see, um, it's just a map of the town really. I'll give you a brief history really. Clangevny is Anglesey's administrative and culture centre, as well as being home to the county council headquarters. In Anglesey, um, it is also the has the county library, which is all, also situated here in Llangevny. Um At the edge of the town, off what they call Pemminid Road, you'll find Theatre Vark, Llangevny, which is recognised throughout Wales as the home of drama um, in Anglesey and a place where actors are, are, na na are nurtured. And the success of some of his former members is proof of this. Um, I think Theatre Fark is, is actually being completely redone because um, there's a college up there as well um, but we'll, we'll save that for another vlog um, so now basically we're we're just going to go for the walk down to the woodland area some works, groundworks going on here. I'm not sure what, but I'm going to enter the boardwalk now, what they call the boardwalk. As you can see, some lovely wood carvings. So it's supposed to be a rabbit, I think. And there's a, like a little shape of a car. All wooded area down here, boardwalk. Oh, right, okay. We can only go down as far as here, but that's okay. That's okay, because we can go down the other path. But obviously the boardwalk is closed for some reason. Possibly because there's a storm damage. As you can see, all the twigs. Yeah, it looks like there's a bit of a... bit of a storm damage, I think, down there. Some logs, posts, I mean, that have come away from the storm we've had over the last couple of days. It's all dropped off. Anyway, right, this is what you call the Dingle Local Nature Reserve. And as you can see, there's a, a map here. Uh, and it basically takes you uh, 
a circular, it's a good circular walk um, up around the the uh, Llangevny Reservoir um, where they pump obviously the water. Um, loads of flowers around, plants around the dingle. It's a brief description there. Uh, it's also known for its wildlife, some red squirrels. Um, there's the statue I was telling you about. It's actually the church gateway sculpture created by Rhys Ingram. Um, there's some more, some more gateway uh, structures there. Station gateway structure created by Nigel Tolbert. That must be a bit further on. Yeah, so, and there's that one there. I don't know where that one is. That's leading up to some steps. But that is Corey Plas Gateway, sculpture created by Dominic Clare. I think this one is actually um, steps leading up to the to the main high street. So that's, that's nice, that. That's what they've done. All out of wood. Koiso, welcome to the Dingle Local Nature Reserve, Nantapandi. Okay, all right, we're gonna just take you for a walk. Just get off this uh, boardwalk. It'll do it, it's a bit muddy. I've only got trainers on. Okay, <laughs> I'll just take you for a bit of a walk down here. Oh god, a bit muddy here. Should have put my walking shoes on. Oh, as you can see, it's all flooded. All right. Oh, looks like there's some more bits that have been uh, blocked off because of this damn weather. What's, uh, what's this? Um, oh, what's this then? Uh, St. Kingan's War at Well. Oh, it's a well. Restored in the year 2000. Oh, as you can see, there's coins in there. I haven't got any coins on me. Well, and this is the uh, St. Kungan as well. Didn't know that was there. Right. As you can see, there's barriers here. Obviously the fence has come down in the wind. But if I just take you over here, Oh, that's the boardwalk with the bridge coming over. Bridge coming over there. And that's the, uh, the River Kevney. Fast flowing. First is banks. It's very wide. Yeah. Just a little overview there, just while I pop my milkshake. Oh, yeah. I'm just having a, just trying this. Strawberry Nestle Milkshake. It was uh, 29p in Home Bargains. So, let's see what it tastes like. Mmm! Very nice. Ideal for kids. Or me. I can see. Over there. Fast flowing. I've obviously this has got to be nothing compared to what it's been over the last couple of weeks. But wow, fast flowing. Uh -huh. A little wooden bridge going over. But again, it's been uh, blocked off. Um, Looks like there's trees and branches falling, but maybe it's quite slippery as well. Yeah. And then obviously down here has been blocked off. As you can see, the steps going down. Um, that is fast flowing. So normally in summer months, there's hardly any water there. Uh, that's the old uh, derelict railway. That railway um, line used to run as far as um, 
Amok, all the way to Amok, up towards the Octel. I used to uh, carry uh, propane gas backwards and forwards from Amok to Clangevney, um, and then obviously down on to the to the main railway line and off to go to wherever. I mean, there was talk of Clangevney Council or Angus Council um, wanting to reopen the railway. And I know in Amok they have cleared part of it, um, but who knows? I think it's all down to money at the end of the day. Um, oh God, someone's put a sausage up there. God, it's graffiti everywhere. Why do people have to do it? And I, what, again, a wooden sign. Uh, the way we've just walked is Langevney. I never thought to call Langevney that way. Langevney that way it goes uh, to the top of the town. Clan gave me that way, goes to where we park, the car park, and the church. Clean Ken Kevney is the lake and the reservoir. And we've also got Coyd Pass, which is the woodland area. Um, we've got some more wooded carvings there. Looks looks like a, a nut, isn't it? Like a nut has been cracked open and the, a little nut inside. So all the all the trees, lovely, absolutely lovely, absolutely. It's a shame we can't get down and go over the bridge. I'd take you over the bridge uh, and walk up the other side of the river because you get a better view. Um, so I'll just take you a little bit further up here. There you can see where the there's the railway line. So it looks like that's been uh, cleared to be honest with you. And if you can just see over there in the distance. It's like a not a waterfall, is it? But I don't know where the water must separate. It must come from the reservoir into the lake. And then as it goes into the river it just narrows. Which is like a waterfall, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just taking for the walk. So, I think we're just going to have to walk back now. And it's like I said, they've put bodies down, they've closed footpaths. You know, obviously, it's for health and safety reasons. Yeah. We've, we've had a three, four days of storm. Branches have blown everywhere, twigs. The boardwalk's slippy. You know. Just let everything dry out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to head back to the car park now and then uh, make myself back home because I have got shopping and some frozen foods in the car so I don't want them to defrosted. So, um, I shall see you in a short while. Thank you. Bye. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, got back from Clangevney uh, around about half past eleven. Um, just made some lunch, tidied up, put the uh, dreaded shopping away. Anybody else like like putting shopping away? Put a comment down below. I'll tell us. Tell us if you do or you don't. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. Trying to uh, put shopping away. You make yourself a list. You go and do your shopping. You put extras in. You come back. Especially around the fridge and the freezer. And you think, what the hell? Where am I going to put all this stuff? Anyway, I've done it. It's all nicely packed in the fridge, the cupboards and the freezer. Anyway, so now I've just got one more thing to do now. I need to go down 
to the local chemist in Amok and pick up my prescription for my asthmatic inhalers. So I thought I'd take you along with me. So I'm going to chosen to walk down today, this afternoon I should say, um, as it's quite a, it's turned out quite, quite nice. Ooh, a bit muddy and slippy here. Oh God, quite boggy. Um, so literally, if I just turn around, that's where we've walked. Uh, you can just see my house just in the distance kind of thing. So we walked down the hill, which is there, across the main road, through the gate. This is actually a public footpath, believe it or not, through the farmer's field. Um, let's go down this bit here. As you can see, there's a little uh, gate there, it's a kissing gate. Um, yeah, ooh, now, that's interesting. There used to be a cottage there. An old derelict cottage. That's where the gate was. But look, it's gone. It's gone. It's been dismantled and pulled down. Oh my god, that was so gorgeous. Lovely little cottage. And as you can see, it looks like it's either Anglesey scaffolding. No, it's not. It looks like it's Hughes Grey that I've bought the plot of land and are expanding it. My god, here was just where the little gate was. God, god, I didn't even, didn't even hear anything being demolished over the last coming weeks. Anyway, this is the little pathway. There you go, that's where we've just walked from. To be careful now in case uh, somebody comes around the corner and I'll have a picture of their face on the, uh, on the vlog. <laughs> Anyway, just keep going along here. My God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Live so close, I didn't even know. Yeah. Gone. So it does look like uh, the local building firm have bought the land and are expanding. Anyway, I'm going to carry on walking and I'll uh, speak to you in about 10 minutes. There's nothing much to see really along this path, so I'll speak to you in 10 minutes. Okay, bye. Hey guys, remember earlier this morning I was telling you about the uh, Clangevney railway line? Um, well, this is, this is the railway line, which is in Amok. Uh, as you can see, it's all brambles, um, but they have started to clear a bit of it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, if I zoom in. There you go. I actually stood on the bridge by the industrial estate. So if I just take you across here, as you can see. If I just take you across here, there's a gap here. To be careful. There we go. That's the, the other side of the bridge. So you can just about make, make the lines out. Uh, but those rail tracks actually go all the way to the the Optel factory and that's how they should transport um uh god what's it gas backwards and forwards across the island um but yeah hopefully in a couple of years they'll carry on and uh be able to uh, open the line again and get trains flowing for public use Anyway, okay, I'll see you in another five minutes. Okay, right guys, I've arrived at uh, Amlock Surgery and the Chemist, which is situated on the end, it's called Roland's Pharmacy. Just about to go in and uh, pick up my prescription. Mask on, obviously, two metres distance. Pick up medication and uh, I'll be off again. Got my prescription. There we go. To be it. I'm just gonna walk back home now because I've only got like half an hour of me to self 
half an hour free and then I've got to isolate then. So uh, let's just take you for a walk up this way. We're just passing in the uh, Amok Library. Don't know if anybody still uses it like. That's a Clip Forget Library, Amok Library. St. Alice Church, Hamlock. Oh, nice bit. This is uh, the memorial hall, Hamlock uh, War Memorial. And this is where the, the uh, Remembrance Days take place. And as you can see, some poppy leaves in the window. Uh, what can I see? Clyde Cymru. Can't see. Virginia Crosby. Amalk ACF. Arnia Valley. Yeah, it's so nice there. Okay, I'm going to carry on walking. And go down the list a little lane. A <laughs> little bit of a history to tell you in uh, my time as I was growing up as a kid uh, but the memorial halls once used as a, a discotheque uh, for under 16, 17s no and that's not the bottle of beer from years ago but that was a door yeah right so yeah this used to be called memorial hall discos right I'm going to take you through Amok Church, which is actually called St. Aleph. Ooh, what are those big pretty things down there? Let's take you down some steep steps. God, that looks like a snake. But it's not, I think it's off a hoover of some sort. Some sort of brush. Anyway, I'll take you through some headstones there. Uh, going back to 1866, 1850. Oh. Uh, just about make them out. 1885, that one. 1857. 1851. Right. All the headstones, all there, uh, all up. So take it up this way. A huge church. Uh -huh. Looks like an oak tree, that doesn't it? If everybody's uh, likes the song "Tie a Yellow Tie a Yellow Ribbon Round the Old Oak Tree," that could be uh, that could be it. I'll just go a bit on the grass really so we can see all the, the headstones. I'm not sure where these headstones used to be on the grass here and over the years they've just uh, picked them up and stood them up, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'll take you up these steps now. Take it to the front of the church. See if there's any disguise. Uh, just got back from uh, co collecting my um, prescription from the chemist. All good. Nice little walk down to the town from back now. Uh, just sat in the garden with a, a cuppa. Um, yeah, just to finish, finish off the afternoon really. So if you like what you've seen, hit the like button. By all means comment comment down below um, and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Bye.